our UTR comparison for Madison Keys and Ash Barty. They are first up on court, Suzanne Longland, and it's all going Barty's way as the UTR, the clay court UTR, the rank, of course, one to one head to head. Chanda, what do you think? Yeah, both players have won tournaments, but Barty's won bigger events this year, with Miami, and uh, with how she's done breaking into the top 10 in singles as well. So you can understand her being ahead in both the WTA rankings and the UTR and the clay court UTR because of their recent success on, on the clay. But these are two of the players that have been playing some of the best tennis on this surface. So it becomes, I think, a little bit of a toss up, but I might go with UTR. Okay, you're going UTR. Yeah. We need a I'm weather factor in UTR. Yeah. These yeah. soggy, sloggy conditions is something right. that we're going to have to uh, reckon with. I'm surprised. Madison Keys obviously won a clay court tournament earlier this yep. year. It was not red clay. It was green clay. But nonetheless, I'm surprised by that differential given that she won a clay court title. And it was cold there. It was a little rainy in Charleston uh, as yeah. well, James. More, John, bringing in more data points for this, for this <laughs> UTR, just making it more complicated for all of us. Uh, <laughs> lots more math, but I, I agree. I, I'm surprised. And I also think that with Madison Keys, it just depends how she's coming out that day. She's a, the type of player that can beat anyone on a given day. So I send, tend to not put as much stock in it when it's someone like Madison Keys that can play pretty uh, pretty different when at her best than at her worst. Even on these conditions though, where it's it's just soggy and heavy. She's one of the few women I think in the, in the world that can absolutely hit through any court. And as, mm -hmm. as soggy as it is, I, I still think she can hit through an opponent when she's playing her best. All right, slip and slide tennis. That's what we got for you today. Uh, Dominic team, Corinne Hatchinoff, they have met one time. It was on an indoor hard court. Hatchinoff got the win on it, but Dominic team, higher rank. Although Hatchinoff is about to make his debut inside the top 10, Clay Court higher, and then a little lower overall, but still much higher in the overall UTR at number six. Is before this tournament, Hatchinoff was really struggling, John. Yeah, if you've been following UTR, you know that that's you know 0.5. That is a pretty big margin there favoring Dominic Team. As long as we're uh, going to keep with our data points theme, <laughs> does having a pregnant wife? <laughs> Does that militate for or against your UTR score? That's what I want to know. <laughs> James, depends you're the only one that <laughs> depends how she's feeling. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's tricky. Depends if he's still getting plenty of sleep. But for Hatchinov, he says it's um, it's helped him right now. He's playing well. He's he's carefree. And sometimes being on the road is uh, is is a great thing for that. <laughs> Are you going UTR on this one, Shanda? Well, I was pregnant, so I can't speak from, <laughs> from the perspective of seeing a pregnant wife. Okay, it's two different things. But I would definitely go with UTR on this one as well. I'm going to favor Dominic team for all those reasons um, and just his prowess on this surface relative to Hatchinoff. All right. Uh, no, no, no upsets no predicted upsets. By, by UTR today. We'll see how it all plays out. It is time.